Your relationship with God was designed to be affectionate, something that you will feel on your heart. There's affection in your intimacy with God. There's, there's something you can feel. Listen to me. If, if the prayer you are praying doesn't affect your heart, it cannot change your life. Stay in the place of prayer until your prayer begins to touch your heart. It is only when it begins to touch your heart that it has the potency to change your life. God wants to be felt. I don't know when last you were in the prayer place and, and the movements of, of, of God in your spirit man made you cry. If, if that doesn't happen, if that has never happened to you, you don't know why you're crying. But you cry. You know, some of us in the natural, nothing can make me cry. Nothing. Burial. Even if they say there's thunder and half of the sky now fell. Some of us don't cry. But there are dimensions of the presence of God you experience. It is affection. It will affect your heart. It will trigger tears. Even though you are at oh my God. It was designed to be felt. God wants to be felt. And so there's an affectionate dimension. For, for many religious people, for many religions, all they have is a book and a God that is built into history. It cannot be felt today. But the design is a reality that is affectionate, something that can touch your heart. Something that can leave an impression of, on your heart for five years, for 15 years, for 25 years. I don't know what happened to Jesus when he came uh, by the, the tomb of Lazarus. I don't know. I don't know what took place there. But he wept. And that weeping was not because of loss. Because he knew that Lazarus was going to come back to life. I don't know the level of intimacy. What was working on his inside and tears were switched on. Anything that it was that was on his heart, that thing was real enough for him to feel. When last did you feel God? You are as hard as a stone. It means you have not gone far. Because the relationship was designed to be affectionate. The relationship was designed to be something that you can feel. Something that you can touch. Something that leaves an impact on your heart. That changes the way you think. Oh my God. Asaiko kaleni sile katomanda. I remember once upon a time I had to stay with one of my relatives and while I was staying with that relative the daughter of that my relative came to my room I, I used to pray for long hours so I don't come out of the room and while I'm in the height of prayer the daughter of that my relative will come open the door and say is this your house go to your house now why are you here now? Hallelujah. I know what you will do under such uh, circumstances. When you are back, getting lost, you will hear the door because the door, if you open it, the hinges are bad. So you hear. Is this your house? This is not your house now. Go to your house now. May the Lord give you understanding. Many years later. I didn't know that that thing entered my heart. It entered. Many years later, I was praying in my bedroom and God now said, That lady that did those things. I should go and collect her and train her. Only God knows the level of hatred that had built. <laughs> you know, this thing is affectionate. So God wanted to, to troubleshoot the heart. Say, ah, this girl is here. 
go and bring her and show her love. Train her. Make her your daughter. And I obeyed. It was her. But I obeyed. And when I obeyed and brought her, I started showing her love when that's, that's mechanically until the love of God was now shared abroad. Do you know the impact it had on my relationship with God? Ooh, I began to soar. Because that thing was affecting the flexibility of my heart. But I didn't know when it was removed. I could sense God so deeply like a person standing by my side yes yes i know something for sure if i should cry real tears here yeah, because i'm hot jesus will, will come to me i know it for sure for sure he will he will show up. oh when, when i'm on the field and maybe i'm not strong he comes I was on a crusade. I was not too well. I finished preaching. I said, God, see my body. At the, the moment I just slept, I slept for like some seconds. And Jesus came. I said, don't, he said, don't worry about all these things. Just follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. He told me three times, follow me. Then I woke up. He's not far away. If your heart is tuned, he will come. If, if there is something that touches you, he will show up. He will show up. He will become to you a very present help in the times of trouble. If you go through your trouble and you don't see Jesus, the angulation and alignment of your heart is in doubt. Because what God has set in motion is that he wants an arrangement of an affectionate intercourse with your heart. Please help me tell your neighbor if you cannot feel it then it, it doesn't affect your heart and if it does not affect your heart it cannot change your life I don't stop praying until I begin to feel it sometimes I pray in tongues for two hours I'm not feeling it I just keep going when I'm moving two hours 30 minutes three hours then it, it now comes on my heart like a glow sometimes like a light sometimes like a burning heat how many of you feel things there? Oh my. It means your God is alive. If you don't feel anything on your heart when you pray to God, when you, when, oh my God, oh my God, there's a problem. We need to take you quickly to the intensive care unit of the grace of God and administer antibiotics. Yeah, we need to administer something quickly to help because the heart was designed to be an entry organ was designed to be an organ of affection an organ of that you can feel things that are not tangible if you know this affection i talk about you will not want to keep malice because malice will will break the door malice it's a luxury i cannot afford oh but biting it will shut the terminal out when you know that God can be felt, the things that will release, that will reduce your sensitivity are things that you are going to fight against. You will fight against such things because the moment you can't sense God, it means you are cut off from an economy of help. Someone lied against me. It was 10 years later, the person had the opportunity to come and say it was actually, it was actually a lie. But you know what? The congregation, the people he lied to, they were not present 10 years later. Guess what? If I had kept that thing in my heart, it would have stopped me. Do you understand? So it was in my interest for me to release the person. If not 10 years, it would have been like 10 years in the shadows. I don't want to pass time on earth which, which which is not act 
active time that I'm receiving wisdom from God. I'm, 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 I'm delving into the heart of God for strategy on how to implement that will that my spirit has recognized. I don't want to spend time in mundane things. I'm still trying to argue about land. Land. Say family land, there's a problem. And then people stand there. Hey, I'm God. I'm God. I'm God. Because I consider my relationship with God to be more expensive than land that will create problem. Hallelujah. It is affectionate. Don't forget that. And don't forget that if it, you, it, it doesn't affect your heart, cannot change your life. Cannot change your life. 